Guys, congratulations on the film. It's amazing. I had no idea that programs like this existed, so that, that's all new to me. But uh, criminal criminal justice reform has been in the forefront of the news lately. No. How does the Mustang add to that? Uh, I, I mean, if, if this film can raise awareness about uh, those programs and expand them, uh, that would be my biggest wish. Uh, there's a lot of wild horses in holding facilities waiting for adoption. Sometimes they would spend years and years and years without, I mean, just sometimes dying there. And there's a, a lot of uh, um, inmates upon their release who actually relapse and they're the, the most fragile. And I feel that those programs inside the prison are wonderful and they should also be outside of the prison. Um, I, I think it's such a natural and visceral response of uh, re repair the, a, a man's soul or right. a man's sadness and pain that I wish that uh, there's, uh, on the justice level, there's maybe um, a way to push it more and to explore it more and to expand it. Mm. Your character, almost his journey, Roman's journey, almost mirrors that of taming a wild horse mm -hmm. that's, that's captured as well. Can you talk to me about that just experience and what you tapped into that character so much of Roman? Oh, for me, it's about uh, the movie tells, tells a story about the possibility of change and the possibility of transformation. That's why, why I also think it's so urgent and so actual to talk about it because it, it goes against you know, a certain cynical um, tendency that we might run into uh, where people say, yeah, but some people are lost, some people cannot change, and, and this film tries to tell the opposite. And um, if, if this movie can contribute, and if the journey of this character can contribute to that notion, then, then, then I think we, we we're doing a good thing. And then, you know, the change is, is being instigated by this horse, the contact with the horse, which is a very intuitive process, a very emotional process. It's not an intellectual process. It's, um, it's, it's, it's really two hearts beating and, and affecting each other uh, in a very um, in a very pure and straightforward way, and that has an enormous poetical quality to it. And and I think that that is also to me I think the strength of the movie. It's it's um, the sincerity of the exchange between these these two individuals, so to speak. It's really beautiful, actually, the the relationship that Roman has with Marcus's horse. Um, I just recently found out that Jason was actually afraid of horses. Uh, and not and only Jason, also Bruce. Was he really? It was yeah, like yeah. Bruce was even petrified. Yeah. I it mean, scared is an understatement. <laughs> really? Bruce was petrified. Like, yeah, get that horse out of here from me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was so going to ask, because uh, they say that, that, that in Hollywood, don't make two types of films, one with kids and one with animals. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wanted to know some of your experiences that you guys had with a lot of these horses, uh, training them or uh, exploring them. It was it was definitely a challenge, but they were very disciplined. Those horses at the end. No, I think uh, we, we were very lucky to have an amazing yeah. horse trainer, who's uh, like a true master. And and without him, we would have been in trouble because yeah. we only had five weeks to shoot the film. Wow! So that's a limited amount of time, and we had some complex sequences. And thanks to him, he was just I mean he was he was like a conductor. He could just like he could have horses jump around and do pirouettes and whatnot. I mean. That guy had the real magic, um, yeah, and, and he, he helped us a lot. He helped us a lot, yeah, guys, definitely. This movie is, is amazing. I hope everybody sees it. Amazing job. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You.